Hi, this is Laura Altman from Raritan River Music Artists in the Community Education Program with Frequently Asked Questions for Guitar. I teach at Lafayette College and Princeton University and some of these questions come up during lessons. And today I'm going to talk about how to play the blues or how to play a pentatonic scale and the chords that go with it. And you can actually write your own songs this way. Uh, many, many, many people have. Uh, it's better if it's simple and there's a real strictly set form that many blues songs follow. Not every single one, but an awful lot. Blues is played with uh, a pentatonic scale. And so we're gonna talk about today a pentatonic scale in E. It's fairly simple because it's easy. So this is a picture of the guitar fingering board with the pentatonic scale. All the open strings are in it, plus notes on these various frets. So you can play E, G, A, E, D, E, G, A, D, D, E, G. So there's only like five pitches in there that are different. just repeats. But um, those notes will go with any of these chords and in fact you don't have to try very hard with this. Um, you can even just play one chord <laughs> or one note. I'll hold this note. So you can sit on the same note if you want to. You don't even have to change. But what you shouldn't do is just go up and down the scale to those chords. And it's better to have like short little riffs and um, stuff that repeats a lot. Uh, so I also, ins instead of playing these bigger chords, you could, you could change to a power chord. So these are... simple to play that will also go with a pentatonic scale. You could probably program GarageBand to play these three chords with drums and then you can just uh, play along on that scale. So ways to ornament that scale that make it sound more bluesy would be one thing would be to bend the notes. This guitar isn't doing great. Another thing is to pop strings. You can play two notes together. Like that. And don't be too prissy on it, you know. It doesn't it's not about sounding sweet. It's got to sound a little ragged. Um here is a formula for a song and it's the formula is sometimes referred to as 12 bar blues. Uh, so I'm gonna make a little song and I'm gonna play these chords, picking out notes from that scale. formula that order of the chords to make a little blues while I'm playing bass notes so you can you can I'm finger picking that um, but usually the blues are sung and um, here's a real blues song that follows exactly this pattern I got the dust for the times. Uh, so you can write your own blues lyrics 
another another uh, typical blues song. Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> another way you could accompany uh, a melody. So there's a lot of flexibility in this form, but it's better if it's more simple. If like in both of those songs, the melody riff was rep repetitious and with sort of short motives, not like going up and down the scale all the time. And, and with some ornamentation, it always sounds better with a few bent notes or pop notes. But within that confines, there's a lot of stuff you can do and have fun and you can get somebody to play the chords while you play the melody and then you can switch parts and the other person can play the chords and you can play the melody and you don't have to be that fussy even about the chord order if you just want to jam you can play whatever as long as it's one of those three chords and there are even some other notes outside of that scale that might sound good and as you get better you can learn how to extend the scale up and down the fingerboard or to play in other keys there you can play that scale in any other key too so you can expand your knowledge but it's a very guitar based style and it's typically played in keys that are easy to make sound good on the guitar so e major would be definitely one of those and a major is definitely another